Here is a figure opened in Illustrator CS3 in Windows. Uh, CS3 has functions that are similar to later versions of Illustrator. And here we wish to add an arrow. So first, if we click with the magnifier tool and zoom in, I can then uh, use the line tool to get a start on making the arrow. And I'm going to draw a line tool uh, by clicking and dragging. And if I hold the shift key, I can constrain it to uh, 15 degree increments. I'm going to make it at this point in time at an arbitrary length. And you can see that the arrow is uh, black. It's stroked in black. So if I click bring the stroke tool to the foreground here, then I can go over to my color bar and click on the white. And that will then make this uh, uh, line narrow. Now this is how you make a line as well if you were making uh, tick marks on a gel or blot. Now what I need to do is go into effect, stylize, and click add arrowheads. Now there are several arrowheads that you can have at the beginning and the end. The ones that would be appropriate for science look uh, are only uh, comprised three or four of these. But I would suggest that you use the one that has the narrower arrowhead, 13 in this version of Illustrator. Now you can see that a arrowhead has been formed. And you can now uh, work with this arrowhead in several different ways. And I'm going to zoom in to show you. If you believe that the uh, tail of the arrowhead is too long, you click with the select tool, you can shorten it. If the arrow is not large enough, you can increase the stroke. And since I've been showing how to do that on panels and palettes, I'm going to show it how to do how to do it that way here. So you can go to two points and make a little larger arrow. Uh, and then if you wish to move it, if you click on the selection tool and put your selection right on the line, you can then move it uh, into position. And then finally, you may wish to add more arrows on your image. Uh, and if I click on the magnifier tool and click on the Alt or Option key, I can zoom out. And so I may wish to, to uh, now include a second arrow. So under Edit, I can copy it. And then under Edit, I can paste in front. And then if I click on the Selection tool, I can move the second arrow over to an area uh, on the next image that you may wish to also identify with an arrow. And if I wanted to move it across horizontally, uh, I could uh, keep hold down the shift key and that would constrain the horizontal axes. And so now you can see that you have two arrows both in the same orientation. If you wish to change that orientation, you can click the uh, uh, rotate tool and then rotate this into a different orientation. So that's how you do arrows in Illustrator.